The other interesting thing that came out of I-75 with the Spring Nationals was Overton winning on the American Racers. And then in Victory Lane, the thing that I thought was interesting about it was how he said that uh, I have his quote written down somewhere because, you know, I don't want to misquote anyone. I want to thank American Racer. You know, they're helping us out. It's nice. It feels good to win on something a little different and shake things up a little bit. It's just going to be better for everybody. So, first of all, <laughs> go, go ahead, Jesse. I, I, I disagree. Who? I, let me rephrase. Hoosier will disagree with that statement <laughs> that it's better for everybody. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> you disagree, Jesse? Or what are you, what are you saying? <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, think it's, it's not better for Hoosier is what you're yes, saying. Yes, I'm, oh, I'm okay. saying that, that, that uh, Overton says it's just going to be better for everybody. Hoosier would disagree. You know, that, that's what I'm saying because it definitely Overton mixes things up. For, for the racers when he says right. everybody. I, 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 uh, I that's what he means. And I'm, owners. I don't think he's including Hoosier in that mm-hmm. group of, of everybody. The tire know, manufacturers. I'm just, he said everybody, and I'm just saying who wouldn't be happy with Calling it. Calling him on a technicality there. Yeah. <laughs> uh Go ahead. I was going to say, I was also going to point out that uh, Dalton Cook ran second Friday night at Southern on American Racers, and Bo won Saturday night on, I don't know if he was on all American Racers. He, he, he qualified and, and ran on a right rear American Racer. So just a, another little thing. So it's funny because he I, was, go ahead. He was two he tenths was faster two in tenths. qualifying. Um, and then I don't, we never, Joseph never got to race with Bo in the feature. It was one lane and, and, um, Joseph never could get to second. Uh, but I feel like Joseph had the speed to run with Bo in the feature, but Bo definitely had everyone else, um, covered in qualifying. But to me, so we saw that, um, Friday night Overton winning on American racers and his comments there in, in victory lane. And then Saturday night, I didn't realize till Saturday that, that Dalton cook had run an American racer, uh, had run American racers the night before and run second to Joseph on them. Um, but I found that out at the track and then on Bo, we knew what he had on and that he outrun us with it. And then it's like, well, where'd this conversation all of a sudden come from? Right. Yeah. The, the whole, you know, having possibly having tire choices, tire brand choices coming back into the fray here. Is that, uh, the, you know, we, we, the title yeah. of the, the live here was a, a tire war coming. Is that something we should be looking for or should be worried about? Uh, yeah. So here's, here's why I think, I don't know exactly. I haven't called and got a price on a, an American racer, but from what I heard was an American racers are like 140 to $145 and who's yours are 200, you know, to upward 200, 220, mm-hmm. something like that. My understanding. Um, so when you get start getting outperformed or what buy it might look up uh, by a yeah but if it starts appearing that you're getting outperformed by a cheaper tire there's that that's going to create some some problems uh and and for Hoosier and 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 for series and decisions to be made I think and to maybe better the sport I don't know I don't know well make it cheaper on the racers it creates concern is what it creates if you're a guy that's like us that's running Hoosiers right and we get outrun by an American racer, well, then you got to be thinking, like, is that what made the difference? You know what I mean? Was it the the other tire brand being better than the tire brand we had? It creates some some concern there, I yeah. suppose. Which is a problem in itself, because then it's like, okay, a team like us, okay, now we have to have Hoosiers and uh, some American racer options, and that's that's, I don't think that, we want to well, it increases route. your tire bill or your yeah, tire that. inventory. Right. Joshua, Joshua, do you have anything to add over there? <laughs> so here's the thing you got to keep in mind when we're talking about the, the tire situation and American racers uh, outrunning Hoosiers is uh, they should be. Okay, those those American racers, 44s, 48s, or pro whatever they're calling them, you know, that was the supposed to be the American racer version of the 1350s and 1600s, right? the what Hoosier would, would call I believe the open co- their open competition tires and now when they went to the NLMT tire rule national tire rule uh Hoosier you know brought a spec tire right a you know everyone talks about how you know it's not as good as the 1350 yeah. or the 1600 right and how you know last year with uh when there was that changeover uh the you know transition period burnoff period of the 1350s and 1600s 
uh, how guys were, you know, you didn't want to be stuck without, you know, not having any when you could run them, right? Yeah. Guys wanted if you if thirteen fifties were allowed, you wanted to try to somehow have or some the crate tires, yeah, and, or uh, the crate twenty ones, the crate twenty ones, and uh, whatever the other compound harder count compound is, you know, are, are supposed to be, uh, you know, um, the the the, the hard version of that, and they're supposed to be crate fifty five, d fifty five, crate fifty five. Anyway, is is supposed to be the six hundred, right? The crate version, uh, sixteen hundred. I'm sorry. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Anyhow, so Hoosier did away with those and went to the twos, threes, and fours, and admittedly said they're not as good of a tire and they should be a couple tenths slower. Um, so the question is, what is you know Hoosier went to with a a slower tire, and now it is running up against the American Racer tire that it had it has always like always been better than. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a reason no one else, no one was running American Racers before. The Hoosier tire, you know, prevalent yeah. tire. I machine. remember, I think it was G.R. Smith bolting on an American racer at Southern a couple of years back, and and he's always been good at Southern, right? He's won yeah. one races there, beat outrun Joseph there, and one night he, I don't remember that was exactly our race. That was the the, uh, the big so, race. Yeah, the, um, uh, the King, King of the Sandbox, sandbox. and he bolted on an American racer and whoop, <laughs> straight yeah, to the back. Backwards. I remember. So, it. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying, so the point is, I mean, that's how it's been, right? Like there, there, mm -hmm. were, inst there were instances where, you know, when, when series allowed both tires were every now and then the American racer, for whatever reason, you know, at certain tracks would be better, um, mm -hmm. you know, would, would, and it would be, you know, it would be noticeably better. You'd have a guy just smoke the field and you'd realize, oh, he was on an American racer. And for some reason that American racer compound was better, you know, on this one event, but you know, 90% of the time. Yeah, the Hoosiers were the car that winning the tire, uh, winning, right? At least that's, mm -hmm. I mean, my, you know, maybe if we go back 20 years ago, but definitely since I've been covering this, you know, covered the sport as a journalist and following it as a fan and now as a promoter. And then so Hoosier comes out with this tire, this spec tire. They put everyone on and say, we're going to help you guys by putting you on a spec tire, uh, you know, that's che supposedly cheaper. The point being is, so what's Hoosier going to do now? They still, last year, like the, 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 uh, the series that allowed Hoosiers and American racers were typically allowing 1350s crate 21s. If you still had them, right? Like, you know, that was a thing. Now that those have been phased out the 1350s and we're typically most series are no longer allowing the crate tires to run. Well, yeah, you would expect the American racers to perform better. They they've said that I've heard, I can't, I'm not gonna name any names, but you know, guys well now we know overton's running them but before that you were hearing guys were testing them and being two tenths faster i right? heard two tenths that was the number yes. that i heard as well the american okay, racers it, versus the mm -hmm. lm the new yep. two threes and fours. going just to test the different difference was right the, the mm -hmm. american racer was the, the you know in most you know across the board uh you know standard not every situation but the average situation was two tenths faster right so what happens then the NLMT. What happens when Hoosier gets tired of everyone saying, "Oh, why are we, you know, run, getting outran on a cheaper tire?" And they said, "Fine, we'll go back to the thirteen fifty and sixteen hundred rubber." And now they're two tenths faster the other way, right? Hoosier <laughs> goes back to being two tenths faster. So then we all ba end up back on thirteen fifties and sixteen hundreds, two tenths faster than American Racers version of that tire. And all these guys like Overton and and Donald McIntosh and uh, 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 Bo and um, Dalton Cook. Uh, Dalton Cook. That's one of the ones I think of. Are getting out range. You know, they're going to go back to Hoosier, and we're all going to end up right back where we were, mm -hmm. right? Like, full circle, is, but probably paying more, thing. more money. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, do we? Do I, I mean that's the theory? Is does this pressure Hoosier into lowering their price? I don't know. Like, I mean, maybe they can't. That, that would be their probably their argument. They, they, you know, supply chain, you know, cost of goods, people, all this and that. Who knows? But point being is. It doesn't, it, I don't think this has proven anything or it's not like, oh, wow, American racers have caught up. No, Hoosier built a slower tire at, for the NLMT and they're not going to, they're not going to let, you know, eventually they're going to say, well, we're not going to just get out, you know, the, yeah. they're going to pressure the series. Yeah. Which again, if you know all the powers, you know, politics at play here and who's in charge of the different series and everything, will the other, will the series allow the 1350s or, or if, if, I mean, the easy fix for Hoosier is just say, you have to allow the crate tires. If you're going to allow, you know, uh, American Racer 44, 48 in your tire rule, you have to allow the the crate, our crate tires, right? Which For, are uh, equivalent to 1350, 1600. Yes. And then crate tires are good. Because they're out there, right? They never quit making those. Um, and then eventually they either just, those become the new Hoosier tire. Or, you know, we, 
that they rebrand them back as the 13 or maybe the ones and two or twos and threes become uh 13 50 16 i don't know where they can come up with these you know numbers right Mm -hmm. who knows what i'm saying is okay this this won't last is what i'm saying all right something and i don't know if it's going to be a change for for better for everybody or if we're just going to end up right back where we were who knows we'll see but they shook things up for shaking things up for sure yeah I, well, I guess one thing to point out is a lot of of fans, or, or I just see the the theory is that if you have competition in something, right, you have cheaper prices, and that sounds, I mean, and that might even be true, but my my just coming from the standpoint of a racer, we're going possibly. I don't don't book your plane tickets or whatever yet, but we're thinking we might end up at Buckshot Friday night with Joseph. If everything we can get our stuff together. Well, that's a Ray Cook, a spring nationals race. You can run American racers. You can run Hoosiers. Well, we just got outrun by an American racer at Southern. The last, uh, one of the last spring nationals race, the Friday night race was won by an American racer. So what are we thinking? We might need to buy before going to Buckshot. You know what I mean? We don't have yeah. a single American racer in our inventory, but we're going to go race against them. And what if we show up and they're two tenths better than us at Buckshot? Guess what we better have in the trailer? Guess what we better go buy a set of this week, even though we got Hoosiers on the shelf? You see what I'm saying? So in, in actuality, you're now spending more money. Even if it brings the cost down, you know, having competition, the racer will end up spending more money. That's my opinion. You know, or that's where I, I, I don't think it makes it. So if we go to a Lucas Oil, a World Outlaws, or a Hunt the Front Series race, everybody has to run Hoosier. So we don't have to have two different brands in the trailer. We just have to have two different compounds. Right. I don't, I don't, that's just, that's my concern with it. Is, well, and, and not only that, but again, racer, we can say competition lowers the, uh, the, you know, the price, the cost, and, and, and that's true. But what also, what dictates the cost is demand, right? And here's what's going to happen is, you know, we all know this, racers are going to spend whatever it takes to win, mm-hmm. right? And if Hoosier goes, you know, right now, if American racers are winning races, yeah, it's like, hey, we might have to get some. Luckily, they're they're cheaper. Apparently, um, you know we hadn't. I, I don't. We don't know. Don't by know. by the way, Jesse mentioned a price uh, earlier in the uh, video here. We don't know the price. That don't take our word for that. That's just what well, I heard around the racetrack. I don't know that that's it's for different. Sure. All these prices are different. Like you call and you ask the person who should know what, and he's like, you know, 180, 190 a tire, and it's like, well, what's the freaking price? Of the yeah, tire? exactly. And then you hear what? guys are paying 140 a tire, mm-hmm. and you hear who, you know, guys paying two. 250 for the other tire, the other brand. Like, yeah. Like, why are we, why is it, why is it so different across the, of, of the same tire and other guys who depends on who's buying it? Right. Which is, yeah, I mean, another, a whole, nother a whole nother topic. <laughs> but point being is, Hoosier won't, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not taking, a, I'm not taking a side by any means, but what I know is Hoosier will not keep making a cheap, a, a slower tire, right. And get mm-hmm. beat for long, right. Like, they'll, something will change. And when if, they come back and it goes back like it was where the 1350 or the crate tires are too, you know, however much faster than the American racers, everybody's just going to go back to them because it gives them the chance to win. And, you know, it's all going to be a, what's who's your want to charge for, them, you know? So I, I don't know, maybe American racers found something. They stepped up their, you know, R and D. And even if Hoosier went back to their, their other compounds, the American racers would still be just as competitive. I don't know, but I'm just telling you, I don't, you know, it isn't, nothing's really changed except for what tire is being allowed from Hoosier, which opens up a whole nother thing. If Hoosier does say, you know, well, you know, what, what are we going to do with, you know, allow these crate tires or we're going back to 1350 and 1600s. Are they allowed back? I don't know. Like it's, it's a mess or it's, it's going to be a mess. I, I'm afraid, um, yeah. you know, like, yeah, we'll, we'll, and we'll it's, see. It's, I, and I will yeah. say I've, I've had people ask, well, what about the hunt, the front series? Well, we're for this year, dirt car. And which and, means, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, here's another thing and I'm, um, that I've, I didn't know if I was going to bring up, but people who have been around the sport know this, that there's, whenever you have two brands, competing brands, the two tire companies are going to be testing things. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be have incentive to make sure their tire beats the other tire. Yes. And you're going to have, this was, the, I don't know. I wasn't around back in the old tire wars days, right? Like, or at least I wasn't aware, you know, I didn't know it was, you know, we were young. When it was the wild, right? wild west. Yeah. But you all, you hear of there was these times guys, some guys were getting tires 
that you know were marked stamped different than what they were well, yada so yada yada you heard- everyone have to go buy the hoosier or the american mm-hmm. Racer or the mccrary whatever it was like i don't know i'm not saying any of that's true but i'm just saying it does open it to where if you if you don't have everyone on the same tire and you have multiple brands competing right like they want to sell more tires than the other guy. What's going to sell the most tires? Being the best one. Everyone's going to want to buy what wins. Plain and simple. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Um, you know, we'll. Uh, we'll it's see. just a. Gi- it's a giant <laughs> pot. Yep. And, and it's just stirring right now. Yeah. Hey, I'll give. And it's, and it's going trying, to turn not, into a listen, mess. I'm not trying to stir the pot. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Is I know what Hoosier's going to do, right? They're not gonna, you know, the two, the two, what they're the tire you have, right? They're not just gonna let their tires just get beat, and they're, you know, they'll when they know we got we got a better tire, and, right, available. And I, I think the, you know, maybe we're getting the cart ahead of the horse. Like this is only like one race, you know. Uh, okay, let it happen a few more races. times. You know, it's, it's been, since, that's what since I'm saying. I think started running American I, racers, you knew it was coming. I, I right? think it needs to happen a, a little bit more before there's going to be action. You know, mm-hmm. from from maybe Hoosier. You know, before yeah, I mean, that happens, I think there needs to be some more solid ground laid on. A hey, American races are kicking a right now. Like I don't think we're quite there yet. We could be there in just a minute. All it takes is a couple I, more I, wins. Hey, a couple more weekends. <laughs> I, it could be. I don't hey, know. Maybe Austin, Friday, Saturday night. I don't know. Austin, um, Honey. I, don't, I have no idea if I'm mm-hmm. saying that correctly. I apologize, and I apologize for the wait too. But thank you for the 4.99, Austin. Hey, first time super chatting ever in a live stream. Really do appreciate it, buddy. Sure do appreciate that. Hey, and we hit 500 viewers. Be sure to drop a thumbs up and a like on the video. We'd really appreciate it. Before we go into this next topic, hey, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Oh yeah, and absolutely subscribe. 